Hi, um, I'm Karen Takara and I'm an arts educator and um, live in Cupertino, California. And for those of you in Hawaii, I'm wearing a scarf because it's really cold here right now. Today I'm going to show you how to make a repeat pattern tile. This is a very simple one that a student created. And um, we're going to go through the steps to do this so you can do this in your own classroom. Okay, let's begin. Well, the first step is materials. What do you need? You need a piece of tracing paper and something to draw with in terms of colored markers or uh, colored pencils. And if you like, just a regular pencil to start with. So step one is just working with the paper. We need to divide this into eighths. So the way we do this is we're going to fold it like origami. So I'm going to fold my paper into a triangle. Okay. And then I'm going to fold it again into a smaller triangle. And after I have done these folds, I open it up. So now I have guidelines that go from corner to corner, and my paper is divided into two quarters. Now I'm going to divide it again, and this time I'm going to fold it into a rectangle, like this. And then I'm going to fold it in half again into a square. The next step is to unfold the paper. And now I have my paper marked into eight different little triangles. And I can start making my repeat pattern design. The way I do this is I'm going to start with just one triangle area. I'm going to draw something just within this area. So let us begin. I'm going to move my paper onto a white piece of paper so you can see it better. Okay, now we're going to be starting creating the pattern design in just one triangle, one eighth of our paper. And I've already started drawing my pattern. Um, it's going to be a cherry representing the fact that we used to grow cherries here in Cupertino as well as apricots and there was a lot of agriculture here. This is supposed to be a black spotted newt, it's kind of like a gecko. And then down here is half of an iPod. I have half of an iPod because when I reflect it, the other half is going to be on the other side. And um, I put that in there because Cupertino is home of Apple computers. Alright, so now I've got my pattern here. Um, I haven't colored it in yet. I'm going to mirror reflect it to this other triangle next to it. And the way I do that is I fold my paper in half making sure that I'm folding it so that I'm always drawing on the same side of the paper. And I can see through the paper, I can see my pattern. I'm going to trace it. Now if I was doing this on a computer, I could have it done automatically, but I think it's a really good process uh, to go through the steps yourself in doing a mirror reflect pattern. When you create your own pattern, be sure you don't cross over that line separating the triangles. It will um, affect your design. So you want to just restrict yourself to one triangle space, one-eighth of your square. And now I'm tracing the cherry. And there's another cherry down here. So if you're using tracing paper, this is quite easy because you can see right through the paper. And I'm just going to do the little iPod down here. This way we will see one completed mirror reflection. So I'm going to open it up. And now you can see the design on one quarter of um, my paper. Okay? And this is actually the way uh, Hawaiian quilts are done. It's done with the same radial repeat pattern process. Okay, so now how do I get this design onto the other side? Well, you probably guessed that you fold it in half, and you're right. So I'm folding it in half this way, again always keeping the side that I'm drawing on on the outside, I'm flipping it over, and I'm going to trace again, and I'm going to copy my design onto this side of the paper. Okay, now I'm going to open this up, and now we have the mirror reflect pattern on two sides. Well now I have that, how am I going to copy it over to the remaining two squares? Well that's quite simple, I'm going to fold this now this way and again being sure to keep all my marker 
drawings to the outside. This is still a little bit wet, so be careful not to smear your marker. So I'm going to be tracing here to complete this side. And I'm going to be tracing over here to complete this side. So again, I'm taking my marker. And here is the design. All right, so now I'm going to color it. And here is the final design on the tracing paper. And uh, good luck. Can't wait to see what you make.